All right, y'all. So this is a little story time. I just find this really absolutely, like, I don't know how I feel about this. So I was at work, y'all, right? You know, just minding my own black old business, you know, doing my job. So this one particular family I was helping for coat check. They checked their coats, you know, came back for their coats, right? I give them their coats. They are putting them on. It's like maybe six of them. And I'm going to let you know what kind of race they was. They was Indian, okay? Very, very nice family. But as they're walking out, right? Some of them still like struggling to get their jackets on. So I felt like this uneasy feeling like somebody was really watching me in the evil particular way, though. I'm like, what is that? So I look. And it's like the grandpa, the dad, whoever this man is. But he's staring at me like he saw, I don't know. It was very, very evil. That's all I know. So he's staring me down. I'm looking at him. And I'm like, the first thing I'm like, God, like, you know, I'm just praying. I'm like, I don't know why this man looking at me. But whatever malicious thing he had going on, please take it away. I rebuke anything. So at first I'm like... Maybe he just looking because, you know, I don't know, like, I'm pretty, I don't, I don't know. So then I'm like, all right, I just stopped looking at him. Because every time I would look, he will look at me, stare really long, and then look away. So I felt the feeling again because he looked away and I felt it again. I look back and he's staring at me again, like, what the fuck is going on? So now I'm like, then I'm like, is this nigga looking at me because I got Indian hair in my head? Like, I didn't know, like, how to feel about that. Because at the end of the day, it's like, I paid for this hair. <laughs> but then again, I'm like, this could be one of his ancestors, his sister here. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you don't know what the hell's under here. His sister, your cousin, whoever here this is, they helping me out. My edge is gone, okay? It's not by choice. Like, you just don't know. Like, I could really be, like, really bald, like, with alopecia. Who knows? And he was dead ass looking at me like, you motherfucking bitch. Why well, I dare you to have Indian hair in your motherfucking head. I should rip that shit out your motherfucking head. Like, he was literally looking at me like that. Or it was like, is that really your hair, bitch? Are you Indian? Because, you know, I get mistaken for all kinds of races. So, I'm like... I don't know, I just kept praying, because I was like, this is not okay. I never experienced that feeling before. I never, like, really saw Indian people. Well, I have Indian here in my ear, Brazilian, whoever knows. I don't know. But I sure did pray to God, and as soon as I did that, about three seconds later, he was out the door. And I was like, he better not look back at me. And he sure didn't. That's crazy, right, y'all? I don't know how to feel about that.